That sounds hideous. This is the Gear Wrench Bolt Biter Deep Extraction Socket Set. Now this is a 10 piece set and the model number on this is the 86071. Now we've reviewed other bolt biter sockets before. In fact, I think the first time we saw this was a couple of years ago at SEMA and we loved it then. And then even when we got them in the shop, used them a bit, they worked really, really well. So when we got these in, we were excited to actually use them, but we wanted a test that actually meant something. So we think we've got something good in store for you. So let me quit talking. Let's dive in, take a closer look at these, look at the design of these and what's different about these than other typical bolt extractors. Then we'll use it on our test and then we'll come back, talk about pricing and wrap it up. This is the new Gear Wrench Bolt Biter Deep Extraction Socket Set. Uh, actual model number on here, part number is 86071. Uh, we've reviewed other bolt biter pieces before, um, some of the shallow sockets and so forth, but this one is specifically meant for a little heavier duty work. Obviously, uh, deep sockets, they'll work with, um, with lug nuts. Uh, also, they'll work with hand tools, so manual leverage as well as with impact rated tools as well, so your impact wrenches. So we're actually gonna try that out today, but let's take a little closer look at these extraction sockets. Look at some of the differences. Number one, yes, typical blow molded case. In this case, I don't like blow molded cases for tools. Um, however, for hand tools like this or sockets like this, I think it's a, a great option. Also, these latches here are not plastic. They're actually alloy latches, so they should last a little time. And the sockets actually fit in here quite nicely. You have a uh, have a foam top here. Um, anyway, so what we have here, we have three, six, seven, ten actual pieces. So the case doesn't actually count as a piece, so that's a good thing. But if you look closely, you'll notice that not only do we have individual sizes, but we have a 19 minus, which is also a three quarter minus. Uh, we have a 19 and three quarter, so that's a little larger. So the minus is a little smaller size, and then your regular size is the regular size. So that's nice when something gets kind of overly stripped, you can drop down to the minus size. So you get all your SAE and metric sizes right here in the case from 19 and three quarters all the way up to one inch and 25 millimeter. And you get all of these in the minus sizes as well. Now, if you're not aware of these bolt biter sockets and the differences here, if you'll look down in here, uh, typical bolt extractors are typically fluted and they have a spiral to them. In other words, they work for loosening only, typically. In this case, we have a straight flute design. Well, you wonder how in the world is that going to work? Well, we're actually going to try that out. We've tried it before and it works rather well, but we're going to try it this time with an impact wrench. So again, you can see those flutes that they don't have any type of spiral to them. They just, they just go straight down. Now, What's the reasoning for that? Well, number one, it will work in loosening and tightening. And you'll say, well, if I have a strip fastener and I'm taking it off, why in the world would, would I want to use it again? Well, typically you would not want to use it again, but in a situation, let's take a lug nut, for example, you're on the side of the road, you get that lug nut off. If you don't have a lug nut to put back on there, well, you probably want to put that lug nut back on and you can do so with this. That straight flute design allows it to bite in both ways, not just removing a fastener. These bolt biters also have a lifetime warranty on them. So if you ruin one of these, hurt one of these, what have you, turn it in, and they're going to give you another one in return at no cost whatsoever. This does have the laser etching on here. When we're dealing with just sockets, I'm not crazy about that because it does tend to wear off. However, something special like this where you're probably not gonna be using an extraction socket every single day, that should last a lot longer, so it's probably gonna be years before that actually wears off. Um, then you can take your engraving tool out or what have you to engrave the sizes on it. But anyway, chromoly steel, uh, lifetime warranty on these. Let's put these to use. We've got a neat idea on uh, testing these out, so let's see how well they do. Okay, it's not often that we destroy things here on this channel, but in an effort to test the new Bolt Biter deep extraction socket set, so in other words, good for lug nuts and such, 
Uh, and by the way, these work um, not only by hand or manual force, but also with impact wrenches. So we want to test that. We want to test, will it really work and do something different than just on our bench testing, if you will. So we've got our 1969 uh, Chevy C10 truck here. Thought, you know what? Let's see if we can't first torque these lug nuts down to, let's say, I don't know, 130, 140 foot pounds. And then once we do that, we're going to use some different sockets on here and see if we can't strip them really good, really round them off using some 12 point sockets and be careful people may die here because we're using uh, chrome sockets maybe with an impact wrench who knows anyway so we're going to try to strip these lug nuts and then use the bolt extractor the or the bolt biters to see if we can actually break those free and hopefully we don't lock these uh these old um slot rims on the truck forever so let's get started okay so we've got our torque wrench set at 140 foot pounds so we're going to go ahead and Tighten those down. Okay, so we've got those tightened down to 140 foot pounds. Now we're gonna take our impact wrench with a bigger socket. And by the way, we're gonna always be tightening to try to strip these. So it's not gonna be breaking these free. Oh yeah. By the way, I think we may be stripping our Husky sockets, but we'll see. That sounds hideous. Oh yeah, that's doing some damage. Sorry for my squeaky chair. Oh wow, that's really rounding them. Okay, I think we have some rounded lug nuts now. Those things are probably pretty warm. By the way, our uh, old Husky socket is holding up pretty well there. I'm pretty impressed. So, we see all the metal we have laying around here. Let's see how well the bolt extractors work. Okay, just to confirm, uh, this is the socket that we actually torqued it with, which is a 13 16 So I'm gonna put this on my impact wrench. I'm gonna put it in loosen and we'll see. No chance whatsoever. Nothing to grab onto, okay? So we are going to take our gear wrench bolt biter, and this is the 21 and 13 16. So it works with 21 millimeter as well as 13 16. Now we have a, we also have a 21 minus and a 13 16 minus. That means if it's even smaller, you could actually hammer that on or, or put that on as well. So it's not quite that small, uh, but it is ready for the regular 13 16. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm not going to hammer it on at all. I'm just going to slide it on. Got my Makita impact wrench, uh, mode four, loosen, and there we go. So here we go. First try on the bolt biter, uh, deep extraction socket. Wow, that's pretty impressive. That was pretty quick. Just curious, the bolt marks on this, at the bite marks, I mean, you can definitely see where the flutes uh, bit into that rather quickly. So there was no spinning, hardly whatsoever. Okay, let's go to the second one. Again, I'm just pushing this on, I'm not hammering it on. That one as well.
They definitely bite on there very well. There we go. All right, last one. I'm not even gonna put it all the way on. I'm gonna keep it there about halfway. Oops, looks like that one is a no-go. So, let's try the smaller one. And I'm just using it like you're gonna use it. No games played here. Okay, so now we're on the 21 minus, 13 16 minus. Wow, that's pretty impressive, guys, I must say. Using an impact wrench, not just a socket or a wrench. And this is real testing here. I know there definitely could be worse situations of rustier fasteners and things like that. But I did want to just kind of show some real world scenario, not just test bench stuff. Those straight flutes really bite in to those lug nuts very well. And that is really cool that you have the opportunity to not just, you know, one size uh, for each size, if you will, but we have the, the regular size and then the minus size for a little bit smaller. So that one was eaten down just a little bit more and that smaller size bit right in and got that lug nut off. And here's the other cool thing about having these straight flutes where they're not just one way to remove things. So let's say you're on the side of the road, something like that, you've got to get this wheel back on, you don't have extra lug nuts. Now you can still do so. So now you've got your wheel back on, at least you can make it home. Okay, that was pretty interesting. If this gave it away in the intro that this uh, strip lug nut was sitting here, well, you can see it. I hope that uh, we did a good job of actually stripping these lug nuts so that we could actually see a rounded faster so a chrome rounded faster uh, with these things and i never used a hammer i could have taken a hammer and really hammered it on never did it i think i took a socket on the last one when i was putting the the uh the 21 minus or the 13 16 minus on there and i hammered it on there a little with a socket but it still took it off without me having to pick up a hammer or anything else and i was able to still remove these by hand uh off of these lug nuts so they work really well and you also saw me pick up the impact wrench and use it for tightening as well. So we thought that was a great test and it worked really well and you saw me, I tightened it to 140 foot pounds first and then I was using the tighten mode every time with the impact wrench to strip those faster. So the idea was to, if anything, make it a little tighter, never to loosen it to make it the best test possible for these deep impact sockets. Now this kit, you're gonna get a lifetime warranty for this, and it's gonna cost you about $150 for this 10-piece kit. I believe they also have like five or six-piece sets, which are gonna be a little cheaper, uh, but they have various different pieces with the Bolt Biter series, whether it be shallow, uh, as well as deep, like you see here. Uh, so check them out for yourself from gearwrenchtools.com. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button, but only if you liked our video. If you hated our video, by all means, give us that thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.